Hey, it's Nixie Pixel coming at you from my hotel in Vegas, gearing up for the Consumer Electronics Show. Now, I know you guys may be hankering for some video games uh, that have some decent quality to them since they kind of blew their load in the gaming industry for the holidays, so I'm here to give you some good news on the PS3 showing my love there with my review of Pixel Junk Shooter. Remember Super Mario? Yeah, the map navigation is that easy with a dot marking each level that's revealed once you complete it. In this game, you're a subterranean ship sent to follow up on a distress call from a mineral-rich planet, like this one. The object is to rescue all survivors and destroy all opposition. And you can see that you can pretty much bump around anywhere because that's not really the point. You don't get structural damage that way. I'll reveal more later about it. So you can see I rescued survivors and the more you kill the more multipliers you get. You gather those little stars and the stars accumulate to a life which is basically a survivor life because you're not really worried about your own life in this which is refreshing. As you travel deeper and deeper into the planet, there's three different kinds of elements that you have to battle against. Primarily lava, still rescuing survivors. And the main idea is you'll feel very hot and cold about this game because your object is to cool down. You do not want to get overheated. And as you can see, your ship lets you know how close you get to the lava and you definitely will die if you touch it. Basically a good thing to remember here is fire hot ouchie, especially for the colony members. And the opposite is true. Once your meter gets to full on heat, you can cool yourself off by plunging your vessel into a body of water. And somehow the colony members are resistant to water as well. So that's good that they don't drown. It kind of follows three levels of the elements, fire, ice, and well, tar, which is kind of random, but still cool. To give you an example of how the temperature works, look at my heat gauge at the bottom left. I'm going to overheat from an enemy missile, and I need a drink. Ah. And check out the soundtrack. Each baddie has its own attack, and there's also bosses marking the end of each level, but I'll leave that to your imagination. Co-op is really fun, pretty much the same as single player, but they've made some parts more difficult. All told, Pixel Junk Shooter is an orgasm in 1080p. You love every second of it, and it's an arcade game, which is like, yeah, anytime you hear an arcade game coming out, you're like, I can skip it. But you know what, you should really try this one out, because it's one that you can pick up, you can put it down, and you haven't lost years and years of your life, like, wow. You'll have a blast at Pixel Junk Shooter. It's only 10 bucks and it's worth every penny. So I hope you enjoy it. And tell me what you think about it in the comments or a video response below. Talk to you guys later. Bye!